Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this particular design. Okay, it's a very simple design. I might didn't do much, but let me just show you how I achieved it. Okay. Now with the first thing, okay, this is the blank page. Now um, most of the images and the elements I used, I can still locate them on that recent day use. So now this is the background image i just dragged it here okay now the next thing i did was to um apply a filter effect to this particular background image filter so i used um retro because it's it matches with the um, products that i use in this design This is it, and just increase it a bit to some, let's say, 66 or thereabout. Okay, so we have our background image set. Now, what do we do next? Now, the particular image I used, this image I used, I got it from an external website. Okay, it's free. Where is it? Now, this is it. So it came with all the effects, the um, splash and all that. So I didn't have to do much when it comes to applying the effects on the product mounting to, yeah. So we have our image here. And the next thing I did was um, I added a mounting goods aside for Mounting goats or ebex via photos. Mounting goat. So there's a whole lot of images you can use. It's made so perfect now. There's a lot of images you can use. Okay, but this is the particular one I used. Where are you? Okay, I use this one. So I just removed the background of this particular image, background removal. We are waiting. Okay, um, it's a little bit slow. Okay, so this is the image, apply the effect and just wait for it to be 100% okay. Okay, now it's fine. I can reduce this somewhere here. And I also apply the, I also feel, apply the filter effect on this mountain goats retro okay then just a shadow here it's my shadow where's my shadow my shadow okay a drop down shadow okay this is the one i used um bring it down bring it down Your reflects it a bit, but it's here. Take it to the back. So we are all done with this. I think transparency is too much. Okay, now the next thing I did was um what this what this what next what next what next okay so I've used this particular image the image of a rock okay. 
something like this mm. a little bit of love effect thing yes indicated this Okay, now we are going to add a mountain text. Boba, I use Boba for this, and the size was. Change the color to white, take it all the way to the back. Okay. So this is our mountain text. I'm just okay. Yep, yep, yep. Take it up a bit, just up a bit, and then I duplicated this. Hmm, we're almost done. The next one was the due text. Three hundred and twenty-three was the font size I used, and then change the color. Was it this color? So we have our uh, mountain to text. And then what's next, what's next, what's next, what's next? Okay. It's, yeah. It's here also. And then I used the um, cloud of this. I got them from Canva, so I didn't have to go that far to look for it. Just search for clouds or beds from the photo section, and you're going to get it. So this one is here, I think. Where's the brightness? So, the only effect I added, I applied to those three was the blow effect, I think the numbers, I think seven, 
yes and then i just tilt that it this way which is here so it's visible but it doesn't really affect the design this slip it And then the last thing, the last thing I used was um, hot balloon. That's like the last thing I added. Okay, not the last um, thing, not the last. I added something else. But let me just look. So the particular one that I used, yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah. Okay, this one. So I'm gonna remove the background of this hot balloon. This is getting long longer than I expected. Oh, it's taking time to remove the background. I'm guessing it's my network. Oh, finally. So, um, erase, I'm going to erase this part that I don't need. Okay. So, there we have it. Reduce the size. And then this so this will fix it here and use it. Okay, so and then that's it. I'm going to duplicate this, reduce the size again, bring it here, reduce the transparency. Let me just leave that. So the last thing I added was here are you the lightning effect this one so as you can see it's the color it's a bit out of place so what i did was i apply applied the filter effect sorry applied retro filter effects this is it yes to make it now as you can see it's looking it's blending with the rest of the so. okay. take it to the back 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 Back, 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 back. Okay, this way. So there you have it. That's how I achieved this design. I think the mountain is a little bit higher, but you can because of time, I'm not going to adjust that. You can always adjust that if you're going to try this design 
so that is it for this tutorial please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel like or comment if you found this tutorial helpful okay um now stay tuned for the next tutorial